Well, well, well. Aren't we just back? We haven't been anywhere. <laughs> yeah, we're back. Okay. I've just noticed on top of this, this is episode 67. Yeah? We've been wow. going 67 episodes. 67 episodes worth of it flying up the charts. I do not flying. know. Flying up the charts. 67 episodes, and that's basically where we are in the charts. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> it's gone well. <laughs> um, on the up, though, uh, welcome to Staying Relevant, a podcast hosted by King of the Jungle, Samuel uh, Robert DeCourcy Thompson, and Hello. his heavy little sidekick, Peter James Wicks. Jonathan Joseph. He's not here. Jonathan Joseph isn't here. But what we have found out is that Pete's actually called Peter, was christened Peter. Yeah, but never uses it. No, unless I've done something wrong. Um, so yeah, it's just just Pete. Just, just Pete. Pete's fun. Just Pete. Yeah. And Sam's actually not a Samuel. Just a Sam. He is just a Sam. Six, seven episodes gone and we've run out of things to say. So <laughs> it feels like spring, which is good outside. No, um, we can't. We can't. We can't no. do it. The um, weather's great. Right. There will be swearing in this episode. If you don't like it, go f*** yourself. Um, I may be drinking. I may not. I haven't yet decided. I, I think not. Let's go with not. Come on, Pete. Look at him becoming a better version of himself. Yeah. Uh, make sure you follow us on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Snappy C. Yep. It's Damon Podcast. Rate, review, subscribe, follow, do all that sort of shit. So help us. Help us help you. Yes. Help us help you. Do something. Peter? Oh, do you want me to carry on? <laughs> um, fine. Uh, so this is obviously main episode, so that means this is Monday. You'll be able to watch this on Friday. On Thursday, we have a fabulous bonus episode. So that is Monday, Monday Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Friday Sunday. Sunday. And just Sam? Monday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. There you go. Job done. Happy days. Crack on. So this is quite a good episode. Lots happened, you see. Oh, before we do that, sorry. Um, because we need to do that on every episode now because... Uh, oh, the live show. Yes, the live show. We need your help. Uh, a lot like the listeners' uh, uh, questions and fucking all that crap that we do on a Thursday, we need all of that crap for the live shows. Some places, there are lots and lots and lots of stories because some places are obviously more full of wrong uns than others. But we need the places that don't feel like they're wrong uns to be wrong uns for a night. Uh, come on stage and tell us your, your stories and you may win a prize. Um, I'll be honest with you, we don't know what that is and it will be shit but you may win something you may not one of pete's teeth <laughs> i don't have enough to give out for 10 shows <laughs> so i'll keep them um but yeah we need you so uh, if you could write into staying relevant at insanityhq.com with any stories uh for the live shows if you are coming that would be fabulous and what i think is really a... important sorry carol no go on well I, I was gonna say what i think is really important and it needs to be said is that Pete again has his ankles out, which I just love. And I just, oh, hello, he just pulled up the trousers. Fucking hell, one of our cameramen just looked away. <laughs> he panicked. As, as you can see, uh, Pete doesn't have all that much tattoo coverage on his ankle, and it just feels weird. Look, look at that one. That's just a plain leg. No, That's just no, Pete. No, no, turn here. it round. No one will see that bit. That bit, on the, no, not to get that foot away. Oh. On the left foot, look at that. That's what Pete looks like with a plain leg. What is happening right now? I know, mental, mental. I don't know what I've just done. Yeah, I just thought it was quite important to say that. Pete's got his ankles out and we love it. We love it. We should do more free Pete's ankle is what I say. Weird. Um, so, Samuel. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm very, very well, thank Wonderful. you. Wonderful. What have holiday. you been up to? You've been on holiday, great. I have been on holiday. Excellent. Anything else you want to tell us? Well, I just had a really good time, to be honest with you. Do you know what? I walked around in a bathrobe quite a bit. That felt quite nice. Oh, do you know what I did do? <laughs> no. I got loads of massages, but I did get a semi. Yeah. I got a semi. And I panicked because it's Dubai. And you just don't know that kind of vibe. And it was so bad because, you know, you wear those little pants. But I doubt they noticed. <laughs> no, they, no, she did because she then turned me back over and I've never had that before. <laughs> she turned me over. Did, I did, it's not that like I got a semi, but I, something happened. I don't know what it was. And then, and then she was just like, and she's like, turn me over after 10 well, minutes. What do you mean you don't know if it was a set? Like, it either was or it wasn't. No, it was. Were you hard? No, I wasn't. But you were, you were like... It was just because those pants are very profound. 
they're very small, and so you can see every little change. And I don't know what happened, but they, she flipped me back over and I went, that is the most embarrassing thing I've ever had in my entire life. Did you make it awkward? No, I pretended like I was asleep. <laughs> she went, turned over, oh, sorry, what? Oh, God, sorry, I just turned over. And uh, Zara, Zara, as I came out, went, was that a good one? And the woman was right next to me. I was like, yeah, you're really, really, really nice. And I could just see her looking at me going, you know, there's nothing you can do. And yeah. I was like, oh, God, because I haven't had a massage in so long. Mm. I'm going red. <laughs> <laughs> and, mm. and, uh, and yeah, I was just really embarrassed by it. So, um, so you went to Dubai for a week uh, in the sun and, and a bit of rain. Um, oh, that was so bad. Yeah, which was lovely. And all you've got to tell us about is the time that you got a hard on. <laughs> I thought it was quite, I thought it was quite interesting because I've never actually had a hard that. on. No, I've never had that from a massage. I thought it was a fit. I just thought it was like a thing people talk about. Like, oh, imagine if it happens. And it actually happened to me. Does it, Zara know you got her? No, I didn't tell her. Oh, wonderful. Well, she'll enjoy listening. She's coming in later, right? She is. Oh, well. wonderful. <laughs> I'll be the first to tell her. Don't worry. Because um, <laughs> it was a semi, though. It wasn't a full blowner. Um, cool. You've also been to the races this week. I have been to the with, races. With uh, Joseph. Presumably that was for this oh, morning. Oh, Zara told me something I need to tell you. Um, she was like, tell them the time about the time where you couldn't sleep. And uh, so I'm going to hear me. Here is me telling you about the time I couldn't sleep. I, I got insomnia. Strap in. I got, I got insomnia in Dubai. I've never had it before. And uh, we, it nearly, nearly broke us up, actually. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know if you've ever had not being able to sleep before, right? But it's fucking awful. It's the worst thing in the world. This is how well Sam knows me, all right? I have struggled with my sleep since I was a child. And sleep maybe three, four hours a night. And Sam has oh, just, that's what I was doing. And Sam's just asked me if I've ever struggled. But it was sleep. really, really Despite hard. Despite the fact that I whinge about it on a daily basis. It was so horrible, man. I couldn't sleep, right? You're the, the worst work wife. You don't listen to me. So there, there was four hours time frame. So it wasn't even that bad. But I... <laughs> I cried. <laughs> what? I couldn't get to sleep and I cried. <laughs> and Zara turned around and went, Are you weeping? <laughs> And I was doing it. I was literally like, this is a low moment. I don't know what happened to me. It was like the third night I couldn't sleep. So the first night, didn't get to sleep till five in the morning. And then Zara likes to wake up and seize the day. She's a seize the dayer. And, uh, and, and and so like, obviously I'd only had like four or three or four hours sleep. Yeah, had, fine. Had the exact, no, it's not though. It happened the exact same thing the next night. And then on the third night, I didn't sleep at all. And I just sat on the end of the bed. I went, <laughs> And she literally turned around and went, you know, I'm not asleep either. And I was like, yeah, but you've had some sleep. And she went, are you weeping at the side of the bed? And I went, what if I am? Let's delve into this then. What do you think was it that, that made you struggle to sleep for the first time? She, in your she went, do you years? want me to go and sleep outside? <laughs> I was like, but what was the problem? Why couldn't you sleep? I don't know. I don't know. I get, I panicked. I got in my own head, and then I started just freaking out and sweating, and like then the adrenaline was going, and I was like looking at my phone, going, "Well, if I get to sleep now, then that means I have like at least four hours sleep before I have to wake up and Zara sees the day." And then like, and then, and it just got really bad. I'm a thrasher, right? And so I'm thrashing from left to right, and I, and I could just hear Zara going, "It's not a shark attack, <laughs> Zara. It's, it's just sleep." But then Zara turns around, and you know when you can tell that she's like doesn't want to show me that she's awake because she doesn't want to talk about it and so I'm almost tactically being loud just so she can wake up oh you're such a selfish person and so she can face it and she eventually goes oh for god's sake <laughs> you know and you can hear it she's like fuck it's like three in the morning she goes fuck's sake and like turns around and, I, and then I went what <laughs> and then she didn't say anything and I was like I know you're awake and I really want to talk to you about the fact that I can't sleep but I couldn't and it nearly broke us up we had a massive argument about it I'm not surprised and like, to, and to be but honest, she wouldn't understand my pain Sam it's a pain like, people deal with that day I, I deal with it every day of my life I've called you before when I can't sleep yes yes you have and what did I say to you then grow up Grow up, fuck off. No, but I genuinely thought I was dying. I then started when I was weeping. I can't, as I use the words, weep. <laughs> I yeah, like, but I can imagine you just sat there and you're, you're fucking, were you naked? She had to, she had to you naked my forehead. Well? Yeah, I was. Oh, weeping like a child <laughs> because you were a little bit tired. I thought I was never going to sleep again. Yeah, well, it must have been really tough. Like people, when you have like a lot going on in your life and you're in a five-star hotel in Dubai uh, on holiday enjoying 
<laughs> but that was the problem. Is, it's really hard to deal with and it becomes very overwhelming. We've all been there, haven't we, on five-star holidays in Dubai. But that uh, was that, that was the issue. Business class um, and um, uh, and it is a struggle. It's a, it's a lot for anyone to deal with. So I understand your pain. No, it, it was it was really, really bad. And and I, I was like, I said to her, I was like, what if I never sleep again? And she, she I, I went, do you mind just for like 10 minutes just stroking my forehead? So Zara's there at like five in the morning going... Fucking hell! I'll stroke my forehead, and she would turn away, and I went. That wasn't ten minutes. <laughs> Maybe stroke it a little bit more, and then I would. I, I was really. It was the most. Like, if she wanted to go and shag someone else on that trip, I probably would have understood. You know, when you you are literally. I woke up in the morning. And went that was. I mean, that would be something to not sleep about. <laughs> but <laughs> was, it was. I woke up and went. I feel so emasculated right now, and it was just. Yeah, it was really, really tough. And then it rained the next day. Oh God! Yeah. Do you think that was because of your non-sleep? <laughs> yeah. Do you think that's? I didn't realise they make it rain, and then it's, it's right. raining because I didn't sleep. I knew this had happened. <laughs> Mate, it was, Is that what you were worried it about? It was really bad. Oh, I was sat at the end of the bed, going, pathetic, <laughs> pathetic, you. And uh, and I, and I, I, I said to Zara afterwards, went, did you enjoy that holiday? <laughs> Just because I wanted her to be like, yeah, I did. And she was like, yeah, it was all right. <laughs> um, <laughs> is it the first time you've been to Dubai? Yeah. Did you enjoy it? Lovely gaff, lovely hotel and stuff. It's just, it, it's just. It's just big. There's just a lot of stuff there, and like, do you feel refreshed? I do actually, yeah, because I actually really enjoyed the like the last couple of days when I sort of like eased into it a little bit and managed to sleep a bit. The last few days got a bit, yeah, yeah. good. Um, that's when I had the that's when I had the massage. Right. So we've also had loads and loads of people ask us about uh, the live tour and whether or not we are going to be doing episodes for those that are not coming to the live tour, and we are. Why are we not coming to the live tour? Well, because there's only a certain amount of tickets. So the people that are coming to the live tour are obviously going to see us, but are we still going to be doing episodes for in between? Oh, yeah. Are we doing these episodes going on to the podcast? No. Sorry, what do you mean? No, sorry, I meant the live, it's a live podcast. No, but we'll be doing, there will still be episodes as normal, nice. even though we're on tour. In between the tour for all the all the, the gossip. As you, can, as you can see, Sam really has his uh, uh, finger on the pulse for what is happening in the Stay Relevant podcast world. Um, but yes, Sam, we will be doing um, episodes. Do I have a tan just before we move on? Absolutely not. Are you joking? No. Oh my no. God, I think I do. I think you're whiter than when you went. I th Shut up. I think I have a tan. What's this? Yeah, but that's because that, 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 that below the pant line is almost transparent. It, so, and then, look at this. There, because I burnt here, you see. So what happens is with me is I burn in places. So like I put so um, you're not tanned. <laughs> Don't say it like that. <laughs> like you're not. I am a little bit. No, you're not. I looked in the mirror today and went, God, you look well. <laughs> I literally looked into the mirror today and went, Let us all know where you can buy one of them mirrors. You look fucking great. I looked in the mirror and went, Well played me. Yeah. And, and but that's kind of hurt my feelings a little bit. Yeah, you're I not, really you're not tried. Tanned. You know, look, I've been away, I've been to Dubai, I couldn't sleep and it was a bit shit and like, you know, obviously that's quite big news. Um, and I do have a tan. It's just it's just a slight tan. Yeah, you just left it at home today. No, it just takes a bit of time for me to get into the zone. Yeah, you should have picked it up on the But way. I do burn like a peach. Oh, cool. Yeah, but look, apart from that, what Pete's been up to, I think is a little bit more fun. Pete Wicks linked with another lover. Here we go. Who could it be? Because it could literally be anybody. Hannah Elizabeth from Love Island. Mm. What do you say about the rumours? Tell me now. It's been everywhere. It's not. I mean, it was in one publication. Yeah. Well, um, I get the Google alert. I set a Google <laughs> alert on my phone to Pete Wicks. <laughs> yeah. So Hannah, I've known 12 years uh, before I did an interview and before she did. Have you had sex? No, absolutely not. Have you kissed? No, absolutely not. Okay. Um, and it was her birthday. Um, so I was working around the corner and I popped in to Where, see you, her where was her it? Birthday. Jimbo Law. Jimbo Law, okay. Interesting. Yeah. So I popped in to see her and, um, and then suddenly I'm fucking her. So, um, <laughs> according to the press... <laughs> Um, not, in, not in real that doesn't help um, but yeah no I literally just popped in to see Anna because it was her birthday and I was around the corner and that was that and then a picture was taken she put me on a story and suddenly it's a new love interest um, so anything I do they just seem to just just love to tell everyone that I'm banging someone new every week why do you think it is? it's because I've got a bad reputation from previous isn't it so anyone now like I, I can't get away from that I, I cannot stand near anyone without someone thinking I'm shagging them I mean whilst you were in the jungle everyone thought I was dishing your bird up um, and everyone else's husbands and wives like, do you know what I mean like, well, it's literally it's just the same old shite um 
but yeah, no, but Hannah, yeah, it was a birthday. I love Hannah. One of these days is going to be true. No, some of them in previous years have been true, but now, as you'll know, I keep my actual date in life very, very yeah. quiet and no one ever knows. So anyone you ever see me with is not anything. I know about Pete's date in life, though. Um, but but anyone that you don't see me with, well, you don't know about. <laughs> uh, yeah, so any, because of like I've got to the point now where I just don't fucking care. Like, so when I'm out with, like, I used to try not to even get too close to people that were just friends, but now I don't care because I'm like, well, listen, that's nothing. But then anyone that I actually may be seeing or actually on a date with, I keep very private and no one ever knows about. So, yeah, Hannah's just a really good friend of mine who I've known a long time. Actually, it's quite funny because last time me and Hannah saw each other was in Ibiza six years ago. Um, and she said there was loads of nights out that I don't even remember. Shock. Yeah. Like, mad. We've had some really funny, weird nights out, me and Hannah. But I love her. She's a really good girl. Happy birthday. She was great on Love Island. I really liked her. She's just really nice. She's just really, really great. Anyway, um, right, staying relevant. Sam's staying relevant moment for the week is a big one. Uh, it's not just Sam's staying relevant moment. He's sharing it with um, his partner in crime, Zara. Um, the golden couple of TV. All right? That's what they are now being dubbed. Um, I think they've both changed their Instagram bios to the golden couple. Um, I'm, I'm not sure. And there's potential talks of a Netflix um, series called The Golden Couple. Um, this was after they did their front cover magazine shoot. You, Zara, Clive. Yeah, baby. I was wondering whether you mentioned the cat. And the other cat. Um, talk us through it. It's fucking brilliant, mate. It was done at home. It was at home with the Thompson McDermott. Yeah, 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 yeah. At the gaff, and uh, it was. Um, I don't do photo shoots. You know, I don't do photo shoots. It's right? funny. He doesn't do photo shoots. We have got one hanging up. He has done the front cover for the Times, and me and Sam recently did a photo shoot together. But he doesn't do. Photo have you shoots. noticed though? It's all this year. Like I, I'd never normally. What's do... changed this year? Then do you think? Yeah, but what I'm saying is, I'd never. No I'd, I've never normally done them. But why do you think people? No, want... yeah, but what I'm saying is, I'm just not a photo shoot guy. I'm not a very photogenic person. I don't know because that's great, and I've actually seen the pictures of me and you from the last one. No. And let me tell you something about that when we talk about it. Roles have been reversed. Yes, they have. Because Sam looks like the masculine one, and I look like his bitch. <laughs> it's amazing. And we can't me, talk about it yet. And, no, we can't talk about it. We'll get on to that one another time. But the one with you and Zara, um, beautiful, lovely. Yeah, mate, do you know what? It's one of them things where you, I have one pose. So he literally goes, right, do a couple of things. And I just go... Yeah, but you say this, you have one pose, and the, the one that we've done recently happened after the Times yeah. one. Um, and I feel like you learned some new poses on that one. I did, yeah. Because the, I was with you. These pictures are different. Um, but the, the ones with you and Zara, are you happy with them? <laughs> are you not? <laughs> I'm asking you, are you happy with them? <laughs> well, I mean, mate, I look, at the end of the day, I knew what, it was, I, knew what I was going to get out of it. I am aware that I am a five or a six, in photogenic form. See, wait. It doesn't go any above that. It, wait. No, I know you're going to be like, you're setting yourself down God. on purpose. But like the point I'm making is I'm not photogenic. We know that, right? Zara is incredibly photogenic. So I was like, I'm just going to let Zara do her thing. And she's going to like be the, the, the beauty and I'll be the beast. And I'm fine with that. I had a stylist. You, you look, I mean, you look great. I mean, you, I don't know how much it took to style you in a, a, a blue suit and white top, but um, you look good. Uh, Which, cats, you know, that cat's my idea. I was going to say, I presume the cat's your idea, but it's actually a really nice photo shoot. And the article, which is um, uh, presumed quite good, I haven't read it, but I presume it's quite good as well. It's a really nice piece. And the Times well, magazine is a big thing. It is a big thing. Um, we, were, we were told that we would be the cover of it, actually. Um, and uh, this is quite good. So I'm, I'm, I'm on the, I've literally touched down from Australia. So this was in the, obviously in the works like quite a long time ago. And I don't really care about photo shoots. I'm, as I just said, I'm not, I never normally do them. So I was like, I don't, I'm not really bothered either way. And they were like, mate, you should probably do this. It's the times. It's quite a big thing. Like you should go and like, you know, get it done. It's a really good thing to do. Not many people have done it. I was like, yeah, sure. Okay, cool. And they went, you're front cover as well, mate. That's like a big deal. So I was like, fucking sweet. Okay, great comes out and I literally go, right, I'm going to go and get this. <laughs> it's Luke Littler at the front cover. 
Oh, he is fucking brilliant, though. Oh, I was like the darts player. And I went, what the fuck? The like, 17 year old darts sensation. We're Littler. fucking five pages in. <laughs> and they've literally not told anyone. So you're not front cover? No. They've literally oh. not, they've not told anyone, right? And then just, and then just bounced us halfway fucking into the thing. And like, normally I wouldn't give a shit. I'd be like, mate, I don't care. Like, I never read this anyway. But then I, I was like, that's a bit, <laughs> they've obviously, the editors have seen it and gone, Nah. Well, no, do you know what it is? I think, um, obviously, this was this this happened whilst you were in the jungle and they were like, we're going to want Sam and fucking Zara. She's had a big year on Strictly. Sam's done the jungle and all that sort of stuff. Let's get it out of there. They should have really made it January and then you would have been front cover. No one cares anymore. I know. Um, and by the Old time news. They, by the time I put it out in March, people are like, yeah. Yeah, no one gives a shit. So Luke Littler, though, big, like Luke Littler, good. I mean, I would rather read. Uh, sorry, no. You, uh, and do you know what it sorry. said as well? Do you know what the front, do you know what the headline was? The, like the thing it was like Brit like Britain's influencer couple. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? Influencer couple. Have you got it? Can so I have bad. A I have seen the pictures, but I don't remember. I looked at the I looked at the article. And I went, oh no. <laughs> um, it's funny though because, uh, like I said, Sam and I have recently done a photo shoot as well, and uh, we were told we were front cover for that. Are we not? I don't think we are now. No way! Are we not front so cover that either? We can't get a fucking front cover. So that's two front covers that have been taken away from us. Uh, Shut up. So technically, the we've only ever done one front cover each, um, and they were separate. Um, and currently, despite Sam being king of the jungle, we can't get a front cover to save uh, to save our lives. I didn't know that. They pulled us. Well, I, I, I don't know for sure, and I don't know much of that you can put in, but yeah, from what I've heard, we might not be front cover anymore. Who is? I don't know. I, I literally have no idea. Um, probably look fucking Littler. Yeah, I just, I, do you know what? So the guy who, because it's the Times interview, right? So the guy, this is quite funny. So he sits us down and he used, to, I think he used to work for like the Guardian. And so like, he, you can tell he's come around. He couldn't give a fuck. So he sat down and he's literally like, um, right, so um, influencing. And I went, oh no. I was like, I know exactly what this guy thinks of me before, before I've even opened my mouth this guy has this preconceived like idea of what me and Zara are, and I understand why, but like, you wouldn't necessarily go into an interview if they were like, this is the premise, this is how we view you. And so I was like, oh, fucking hell. He literally went, so, you know, you guys are influencers. And I went, well, I'm not really an influencer. I don't really, I'm not like one of them, I don't think. I, and I do targeted ads on Insta, but like, I like to think they can go on TV. Like, Did he mean influencer or influential? No, no, influencer. Oh, right. And so I literally, he, the moment he opened mouth, his mouth, I went, oh, for fuck's sake. And it's funny though, because he wanted to talk to Zara a lot about, you know, she's done some actually really awesome shit, right? Yeah. So She's credible. She's credible. So he literally goes, so Sam, obviously you won the jungle. I was like, yeah, mate, no, I've had a really good time. And he went, yeah, yeah, and you, you know, you make sort of TikToks. And I went, yeah, I'll do. And then he went, so Zara, um, revenge porn. <laughs> That's like quite a big thing. Um, Sam, do you watch porn? <laughs> I was like, oh no, fucking hell. I literally went, I know exactly where this is going. I was like, I'm basically the dumb to Zara's Tweedledee. And, 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 and Zara's like talking about all this really big stuff. And he just fired at me out of nowhere. So do you watch porn, Sam? And I've been silent for about 15 minutes because he has nothing to ask me, obviously, because I haven't really done much. So I was just like, fuck. <laughs> I looked at Zara and Zara's not even looking at me. And I was just like, I don't know what to say. And so there was like a five minute pause. I went, I have. <laughs> and he starts writing down. I was like, we fucking right there. He's literally in <laughs> boyfriend watches porn. And I was like, this is going to be a terrible fucking expose. And it was just like, he was like, yeah, porn's obviously changed a lot. We're talking about porn for ages. And I was like, I don't know what the fuck is going on right now. And uh, and it was luckily Zara saved it because she was like, yeah, well, you know, stats and figures. And we turned up at the, you know, porn hub's fucking doorstep. And like, they didn't answer the door. And it became very like, again, very sort of like serious. I had nothing to offer in that entire interview at all. See, whenever you go, whenever I get asked things by journalists that I don't really like or don't really answer, I just ask them. So I would have gone, do you? <laughs> Should have said that. Because uh, it's I sang like a canary. I went, yeah, I do. I have watched porn previously. No, nah, nah, because then when they get personal about certain things, I was just like, do you? Well, and I said, they... I said, I went, I went in the past. I was in the past. I was like a young boy. Yeah, well, you don't need to now because you can go for massages. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't. 
don't need, yeah. don't but, need Paul Nick. No, I, I was like, I was like, I just, I just, I just, I just a loaded question. I was like, but, you can't win. Yeah, but look, you're, you're putting yourself down there because you have done loads and loads of things. So yeah, you're well worth the, t- the times, mate. You can be on the front cover of whatever the fuck you want to be on. Yeah, one day. Well, no, I had all this stuff lined up as well. I was like, I'm going to talk about this, I'm going to talk about that. And it literally went, do you watch porn? <laughs> and I'm um, like, fuck's sake. And he went, you do TikToks. And I went, oh, no. <laughs> the cats look great, though. <laughs> the cats look great. They steal the show. Yeah, they do. They do. I mean, one of them looks like he's been held hostage, but other than that, looks... <laughs> that's Bunny. That's looks, Cedric, yeah. Yeah, yeah. fucking Clive looks like he's been held hostage. He's not called fucking Clive. He's called yeah. Bunny. Whatever. Um, anyway, all right, good. Well, that's good. Time's front cover. Time's front Mine cover shoot, yeah. is the opposite end of the scale. Um, I feel. Um, however, um, me and the wonderful Edie enjoyed a special day together. Right, so Pete has... I'm going to talk about Pete's uh, staying relevant moment because it's a lot more interesting than mine. I went and did some time shoot. Didn't get the front cover, well, as per usual. I just want to point out before we get this, I know what this story is. And Sam did a uh, times shoot. I worked for Costa. <laughs> I have done some work with Costa, actually. Their spiced latte is particularly good, actually. But Pete and video producer Edie, who actually get along really well anyway, to be fair. They always talk about each other's clothes and all this bollocks. Uh, they worked together on some content for Kiss FM and Costa Coffee over the weekend. Now, the video involved Pete pretending to be a butler for the day, complete with an outfit and a tiny little hat. So I just want to point out that I, when I was asked about doing this job, it was effectively um, in collaboration with Kiss, um, and a competition winner, uh, winner sorry, had um, I was going to go and kind of say hello and, and and whatever else and do a bit of funny thing. I didn't know that it was a butler that I was supposed to be for the day. I also wasn't aware of a uniform that I have I to wear. I love it. I love it when Pete doesn't know about uniforms as well. It completely throws him. It throws me and I don't like it. So when I got there and uh, Edie met me in the reception at this hotel um, and she says, right, so this is the premise we're doing. Yeah, yeah great, great, great. Um, and obviously we've got an outfit. Hmm? Sorry, what? An outfit. I said, so it's dressed like what? A bellboy. <laughs> yes! And I thought, wow, that's going to be awful. I was then given the outfit and I do not look like a bellboy. I look like I work in a teppanyaki restaurant. <laughs> and I said, where did we get this outfit from? Amazon. Yeah. And I thought, well, that's where we're going wrong. I had a little hat on and this little black tunic, uh, which by the way, was, uh, I mean, what, three sizes too small for me, should we say? The arms were up here. So yeah, so that that was that was kind of the start. Of Don't it. sell yourself short, Pete, mate. Uh, you're given a room service trolley with a tablecloth, a silver tray of coffee cups, uh, which you actually apparently seem to enjoy pushing around quite a bit. Oh my lord, you got the first shot wrong. No, I didn't. You you did. No, no, you no, I didn't. To, no. So in this shot, Pete's meant to walk through these elevator doors. No, 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 no. You're reading this wrong. I didn't get it wrong. What happened? It went wrong, but I didn't get it wrong. <laughs> Sounds right? like you got it wrong. Ed. Ed, is this correct? Yeah. Yes. Right. So what happens was we're at the top and they wanted a shot of me with this trolley coming out of the elevator. But obviously, you know, they close, don't they? So I'm pressing the button to keep it open while they're trying to get the light in ready for the fucking shot, keeping it open, keeping it open. And then it was going to close and then I was going to open it and it was going to come up. Uh, we did it a couple of times uh, and the light wasn't right anyway, blah, blah, blah. So I'm keeping this door open, getting this going. Uh, it's then right. Well, Everything's ready. Right, okay, so I'm going to let the doors close and then I'm going to open them and say, come up. I let the doors close. I wasn't quick enough, so I went down. <laughs> I'm on the eighth floor. I've gone down all the way to ground floor. And you could just see it going ding, ding, ding. ding. So I've gone, all the way down, I've gone all the way down to ground floor and then it's opened. <laughs> doors are shut on you. And there's people there at the ground floor and they've gone, oh, I didn't expect that. Going up. I mean, yeah, and I'm dressed like a bellboy with a tray. Uh, with a like a thing, and I thought it actually looks like people are thinking, God, things haven't gone well for him. Yeah, do you know what I mean? It hasn't gone well, is it? Um, I then didn't know what to do because my Edie had my phone as well, um, so no one could call me. So I didn't know whether I'd just go back up or or fucking what do I do? Uh, I didn't have a key card either um, to be able to get to the eighth floor. So I just hoped 
that they were pressing the button so that I'd go back out to the eighth. And I thought, well, I'm not doing this again because I'm already <laughs> fucked off now. So what I will do is I'll just stay in character for when it opens on the eighth floor. It did go to another floor first and I did, and people looked a bit scared because I was supposed to be angry. Then I got to the eighth floor and we carried on. It was I was very professional. Well, I one, one of my favourite things though is so so Edie had the uh, the mic so she could hear the mic and apparently <laughs> and apparently as the doors as the doors are closing. And the lift starts going back down because he hasn't made it out the fucking lift. All she can hear is a really soft, oh no. <laughs> and then the mic cuts out and she can just see it going ding, 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 down. Yeah, it, it was bad. Um, it was, yeah, it, it, it oh, was bad. God, and the door sweet. actually really hurt my shoulder. I bruised my shoulder on that door. Yeah, well, it, it, uh, that, but I was pissed off. Oh, it's so um, funny that I can see that happening. I can see you like literally trying to get it right, it going wrong, and then you'd be like, for fuck's sake, into your mic and people hearing that, and then the radio signal goes. Well, because on the way down, as it was going down, I was thinking, well, I can't get back up, and I don't have a phone. And I just assumed, um, and thank God you were there, because otherwise I would have assumed that everyone else is stupid and wouldn't know what to do. But I thought, Edie will know just to press the button and I'll go back up because I know you. I thought, she's not fucking stupid, but sometimes you don't know people and you think, if they don't press the fucking button, then what am I supposed to do? Get out of the bottom and wait, try and call, do I call, how do I, they, will they come down and get me? But I thought, Edie will know, I'll just, I'll, if she presses it, I'll just come back up. Thank God you did. Because um, otherwise I could have got out in the fucking lobby and then just been stood in the lobby. Like, it would have been a nightmare. But Pete, look at us. Look at us. Flying. Pete's doing jobs for Costa. I've got a time shoot, not front cover, but a time shoot. I feel like there is um, a little bit of a dig there. What do you mean? I've got a time shoot. Pete's working with Costa. No, he, Pete um, did a really big job. Um, no, it wasn't a big job, but it was a fun job. We enjoyed it. Um, and the rest of the day, uh, or the rest of the time, I had to be a butler in the room with this um, uh, lovely lady, Marissa. Um, who was delightful. She was actually very funny because she was very dry. Um, but um, I, I perhaps got too involved in it because it was, you know, supposed to be like an Took it very moment. seriously. Yeah, well, I was... Uh, it gets what, into the role, does RP? Uh, at one point, I was saying some fairly sexual things um, for the role, but obviously I forget that Edie is hearing those things. So there was some grunt in, do it to me faster faster mm, do you like that that sort of thing um and i for, for this is the first time i've looked edie nice since because it was weird it was very we've made it very weird i don't care what anyone says we fucking made it look at us look at us we're doing it man we're climbing that ladder one rung at a time but um but yeah fun was had by all fun was had by all look at us though we are flying you know i mean i oh, I did the race course thing. Yeah, we, yeah, we need to speak a bit more about this race course thing because are you just a mannequin? Because why does everyone else just dress how they want and you are always in a stupid outfit? What do you mean? I had a suit on. Yes, but you also had a little jockey cap on. So how? So you went to the races. Me and Josie Gibson, who I did the jungle with, who's a legend. And I believe I saw in a picture that Mia was there. Yes, yes. Um, I also saw a picture of you last night with Chris Hughes. Chris Hughes, yeah, because he was obviously there at ITV Racing. He does a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um, and uh, he looked dapper as ever, to be fair. And so uh, I was nervous. I'd never been to a race course before. I'd never done any racing before, yeah, in my entire life. It well, was I don't so think you cool. were racing. Well, no, no, I, I wasn't, but like, I was doing some like bits where we were talking about it. And, and so I had to, like, do you know what I, I learned? So if anyone asks me about horses, I go, well, I'm going to be honest, I'm a bit worried about the ground, but their form should see them through. Yeah. Quite good though, right? Yeah. And did you have to do anything about, you know, if they win, like how many furlongs they win by and all yeah, that yeah, stuff? Yeah. Well, no, not really, because we were there for a bit of a laugh, to be fair. I had a Guinness. Oh, I love Guinness. It's my favourite. Well, I had one of them. Yeah. So. And uh, I got a little bit pissed, actually, to be fair. After the Guinness? Yeah, that was really, because you know I'm a bit Have like, you had Guinness before? I have, yeah. But you like Guinness? I don't mind it. It was yeah. all right. Yeah, but Guinness is nice. Everyone was having a great time. There was a band. Everyone was, when they were on stilts, that was cool. Um, and it was just a really, really fun day. And someone gave me a jockey hat. And that's what I was wearing. Yeah, you looked an idiot. No, I didn't. I looked fucking cool. No, you didn't. You looked like you were back at bowling. Well, if you actually knew anything about your jockeys, <laughs> mate, you'd know that it was actually the jockey hat of someone who won quite a few times. Right. Did you mention to everyone that you knew Frankie Dettori? I did, yeah. yeah I thought, I thought, I did. I, I thought you might. I was, yeah. Shot, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know, know Frankie. Frankie. I did. Yeah, yeah. I went, Do you know Frankie Dettori? Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. and he's got really big hands. 
Yeah. Okay. Bet you wouldn't realise that though. He's got really strong hands, vice like grip. When he puts his hand on your shoulder, you look fucking out. Yeah, yeah. And everyone's like, whoa. Yeah, it's the reins. It's the whole in the rain stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you know, Chaz has just come up with a very good. But he, but, but it, 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 all in all, it was really, really fun to be fair. But I just get really nervous because it was. It was the first time that I was with like Josie, and Josie's obviously quite a, a well-known. You know, she does this. That's her bread and butter. But you get on well with Josie. Josie's lovely. Really, really well. It was super fucking fun. <laughs> I just followed her lead, and uh, and and just yeah, had the best time. It was really, really great. I'm gonna go racing again. But nice. Okay. Yeah. Right, really well, good fun. I, I actually went um, um, and had a day for myself this week as well, what which I do? should have done in the opening conversation. Um, but I went and spent a day with some puppies and dogs. At oh, I saw this! At an RSPCA animal shelter. Um, I swear you do this to get laid. No, I do it because I'm an investor for them, aren't I? Yeah, I love I doing like it. Some but, um, but yeah, so I took the bike and uh, turned up there and spent a day with um, loads of puppies and different dogs and, and whatnot. But anyway, the puppies uh, that they had there, nine, were all named after England rugby players. And they had a little Joe Marler because he had a little Mohican. Really? So I sent it to Joe. Um, did you respond? He did. That's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting more. Um, the last time we spoke to Joe Marlowe, I spat in his beard. Anyway, so nice, nice. Pete's seen week. puppies. I've been with horses. Well, it makes me happy because I was in a bad mood at the weekend and last week. So I go into shock. No way. Happy. What? Yeah. And then it just, it just releases more, what do you call it? Serotonin or that bollocks. And it makes me happy. Do we need to do another dance? No, no, no. Because that then makes it worse for me. And then I go back down and then I have to go and see a puppy. Because I can't stop watching that Beyonce one. You know, yeah, we went actually, viral. We should do, I don't think we've mentioned that one, have we? No, we should mention that. That, that, that was done straight after the infamous board meeting. Um, oh. oh, we have spoken about it. All right, well, we're done then. I think we're done for the day. We're done for the day. Lovely. And actually, we're going to be joined by my girlfriend in just a few minutes and my mum. Oh, wonderful. Um, family ting. Thank you so much for listening to Staying Relevant, the podcast with two best you friends. Again. Okay. I just don't think, I think the energy Fair enough. just off key. That is us done. And uh, now it's gone down. I okay. think it should go up. Oh, up. We're going higher. Okay. That is us done. Not here. shouting, just in pitch up. That's us done. That's it. We are done on Staying Relevant. What a podcast episode that was. We had so much to talk about, so much to dissect. Pete works for Costa. Uh, not literally. <laughs> You don't expect me to be frothing your fucking milk. Anyway, uh, make sure you rate, review, do all of that crap. Follow, subscribe. Um, follow us on Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat and YouTube. That's the fucker. Um, and you'll be able to watch this one on Friday. Friday this one comes out because this is the main episode. I nearly confused myself there. So that's Monday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday. I think you get the point now. Um, I'm even... Oh, 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 oh. Hilarious. Hilarious. Love, the, love the screeching from Sam. Post on Tuesday. Lovely. Um, keep reviewing how you feel about Sam's screeching because he enjoys to read them. Um, and the ones that are bad is what keeps him up at night when he's on holiday. It really does. It really does. That actually, I think, was actually part of the, part of the problem when I had insomnia. Yeah. Wouldn't wish We're waffling now. Bye just uh, all over the shop it's a real kerfuffle